a young lumberjack had an accident in the forest. He passed out. When he woke up, he found his surroundings were terrible because there were wolves around him. He closed his eyes to accept death. Then something unbelievable happened. Clive was born in a rural area of his county. His father was a lumberjack and his mother was a baker. She made the best baked goods for miles around, so she's very popular in the community. Her husband was a famous lumberjack because of his strength and accuracy. When it came to harvesting and carving wood, Clive was told from an early age that he should follow in his father's footsteps. From the age of eight, he was allowed to accompany his father to work in the woods. He saw his father as a hero and couldn't wait to become a person like him. When Clive was about 16, they were in the woods one day and he saw an animal that looked like a puppy in the bushes. It looked up at him and its eyes were full of desperation. Clive thought he had to do something, but he still thought it was a puppy. He picked it up and showed it to his father. Just then, he realized that what he was holding was not a puppy, but a wolf cub. His father told him to put it back, but Clive refused. There were no other wolves around. Clive was sure that the wolf cub had no family and needed their help. He wanted to save it. His father agreed. But on the condition that they would encourage it to go back to the forest when it's old enough. Clive agreed. Then he took the cub home. Clive was very excited. He introduced the wolf to his mom. His mom was just as scared as his dad. Clive begged his mom to let him raise the cub for five months before driving it away. Clive thought five months was enough. But we all know time flies. They have a good time every day. Five months flew by before Clive realized the wolf was old enough to start its own adventure. Saying goodbye is much more difficult than expected. That adventure began with a desire to help a lonely cub, but ended up becoming best friends with it. He though he couldn't live without it. For five months they slept together, ate together, and even bathed together. The emotion between them was something Clive had never experienced before. He doesn't have siblings, but he finally understands what it's like to share. He had hoped that over time his parents would renege on their original agreement. But they were unwavering. His parents insisted that the wolf should go back to the forest as they did five months ago. He couldn't convince them. How to make the wolf know it? They don't speak the same language. Clive hoped that the wolf could find its own company and live its original life. In order to help it, he observed and found wolves nearby. While he's not sure if this is his friend's kin, he's sure those wolves will take it in if the conditions are right. One day, Clive succeeded in persuading the wolf to go into the forest with him. They found those elusive wolves he had been tracking. Clive was ready. He threw some meat into an open space and slowly retreated. His wolf and these wolves ran towards the meat. They got to know each other briefly and were distracted by the delicious food. They put their differences aside and started eating together. That's his goal. Then Clive left and went home. That's the last time he saw his best friend. The successful transition from a domesticated environment to the wild reassured Clive that he had made the right decision. Now he has to focus on his career because he wants to be as great as his father. He wants to inherit his father's mantle. Therefore, when his father retires, he can take his place in the workshop. At the age of 16, he could work independently as an apprentice for another two years. All he wanted was to be an adult and be independent of his parents. He was sure that once he started working full time, he would be able to take over from his father, his parents would respect him more and give him more space to make decisions. He didn't anticipate what would happen a year later. When he was working with his father, an accident happened in the forest. No one expected it. 
his father cut a thick tree trunk and fell to the ground. Clive rushed to him but could do nothing. His father died of a heart attack. For months after the tragedy, Clive began to work full-time and help his mother support the family. His mother, devastated by the sudden death of his father, stopped working. She sank into a deep depression and couldn't cook anything delicious, even a loaf of bread. All the pressure was on Clive. He had to start her career early while mourning his father. He thought that he had a lot to learn from his father. He did his best. On the fateful day, an extra piece of advice might help him. Clive was trying to deal with a tricky cut on a tree that he had never done before. To make matters worse, the tree was on a slope. Maybe he's going to fall off a cliff. Due to her inexperience, he thought he could make it. He didn't realize how wrong he was until it was too late. He lost his footing halfway and rolled off the cliff. When Clive was at the bottom of the cliff, he's injured seriously. His head had never hurt so much. He could barely move. He looked around. But he couldn't lift his head before dusk. When Clive woke up, he could barely move. He slowly opened his eyes and saw something he had never seen. In front of him was a big wolf. That wolf was smelling his clothes. Clive's heart almost stopped beating. He slowly turned his head. He found a lot of wolves there. Those wolves surrounded him. He couldn't help thinking that if he hadn't died of his wounds, he would be eaten by wolves. Just then, something unbelievable happened. Instead of attacking Clive, wolves crouched down slowly and licked his wounds. A wolf stood next to Clive's head. Whenever Clive was about to pass out, it nudged him awake. That's his wolf, his best friend. They formed a strong bond years ago. The wolves were helping Clive because Clive helped it when it was a cub. Wolves tried to care for Clive, protecting him from other predators until his mother and villagers find him. They were shocked when they saw many wolves surrounding Clive. As they stepped forward, wolves began to retreat. Clive attributed his survival to wolves. They treated him as a friend and protected him. He visited his guardian angel every now and then. When he went to work in the woods, he always thanked them with fresh meat. Some bonds cannot be broken no matter what the circumstances. Have you ever paid back a debt of gratitude you owed in an unexpected way? Feel free in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.